And after the long video of time quantization, we need to have a look at scale quantization. Don't worry, that won't be as long. Again, you can quantize both audio and MIDI in logic. For audio quantization, you can watch the flex videos that I have made. This would be videos 27 to 35, where I cover absolutely everything and various instruments, or you can just watch the flex pitch video. Now, as before, for this one, we will focus on MIDI. So let's open up the piano roll, select that region. Now, underneath time quantize, we get scale quantize. Essentially, what this function does is to allocate the chromatic notes and make them diatonic to the scale that we choose. I thought I'd use these terms because even if you're just a producer, it's good to know what they are. Now, a super basic definition. Diatonic notes are the notes that belong to the key. Chromatic notes are the notes outside that key. So if you think A minor, it only has white keys. So anything that is sharp or flat, so a black key, does not technically belong to that scale and is a chromatic note. So let's look at an example and make it easy. So here we have C major, which as you can see, it only has white keys. And everything you choose will be highlighted here. If I change a note and make it sharp, let's do, let's do the F, let's take it and put it on F sharp. Now this will technically no longer be C major. Now say you have a passage that, uh, and something sounds off. If you know your scale, then you can simply select your scale here. So right now it's off, so nothing will happen. So we are in C major, so I will choose C. And then from that list here, we will select the type of scale that we want. In our case, it is a major, so I will leave it on major. Then I will select all of them, so command A. And now I will pr press this Q button here and watch this F go down. And now it corrects it and goes to an F natural and we're back to C major again. Now here's an issue with scale quantize. You won't always get the results that you want. In a major scale, a chromatic note is only one semitone away from a diatonic note. So in our example, the F sharp, if it goes up a semitone, it becomes a G natural, which is part of C major. And if it goes down a semitone, it becomes F natural, which is also part of C major. Here's the issue now. 50% of the time, logic will go upwards towards a note of the scale, and 50% of the time, it will go downwards. So let's look at it. So if I grab that F again and put it up, make an F sharp again, because the first time it went down to F natural, now it will go up to G. So I will select all of them, I'll press Q, and as you can see, it is now on G. So we are repeating a note for C major scale and it completely skips F. So because half of the times it will move the note up and half of the times it will move it down, always listen back to make sure it's okay. So do not completely trust the scale quantize. If you already have all the notes of the scale, obviously nothing will happen. So if we move that G back to the F sharp and treat it like it's part of the scale, so that would be one sharp, that would be a G major, which has one sharp. So if we change that to G and we select all the notes, you can see that the Q button is not available because we already have the notes of the scale. So if you see it not being available, don't think something's wrong. You probably have all the scale, all the notes of the scale that you have chosen. Now let's look at one more thing. Now sometimes you may want to have a note that is outside the scale because it sounds good. By far the most common example of that would be the seventh chords. So let's listen to this example. The last two chords are the same. The only difference is that the second to last has a minor 7 and the last one has a major 7. If you were to quantize something like that using the major scale option, because we are in a major scale, then it would remove that minor 7 which sounds good here. In that case, we need to select one of the other options. So we want the, let's first of all change that to a C because we're still in C major. And then we want the major and flat 7. 
So if I select all of them now, you will see that the queue is still unavailable because it now treats uh, both the minor and major seventh degree of the scale as part of the scale. So what I'm saying, what I'm getting at is you need to look at your list here because you have some really nice options that can be very, very helpful. The last thing I want to remind you is the brass tool. Now we have already looked at that in detail in part two of the piano roll videos, so that's video 46 of the series. I want to remind you that you can actually use it to input notes that are only part of specific scale. So if you don't know your scales by heart or if you're not sure about something, you can select any option from the list here. So let's say that we want, I don't know, E major and then go to E. You will see that it will only input notes based on that scale. That's basically everything about the scale quantization in Logic.